Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm Chuck Tatro. I'm the NASA Mission Manager for the MAVEN mission here at the Launch Services Program at Kennedy Space Center. We're here for the booster and Atlas Centaur arrival this morning that will launch MAVEN on its way to Mars on the 18th of November. Um, this is very exciting because this is the last, this two of the last three pieces of the launch vehicle that are going to arrive at the Cape. The last vehicle, the last um, segment is the launch vehicle fairing, which will encapsulate the spacecraft. That's coming at the end of September, but this is the Atlas and Centaur. Right now, the MAVEN spacecraft is already processing at the payload hazardous servicing facility on the Kennedy Space Center, and it's on schedule and ready for that November 18th launch as well. Some of the high points of the MAVEN mission, of course, we launch a Mars mission. We try to launch one every two years. You're probably familiar with the current Mars Exploration Rovers and the Mars Science Lab Curiosity, which is roving Mars. They're on Mars exploring the surface. MAVEN is going to explore the atmosphere of Mars. It's going to go in orbit around Mars and it's going to deep dip into the upper atmosphere to sample the atmospheric constituents to try to build some data that would explain perhaps what Mars's atmosphere was like in the past based on what it is like today. MAVEN will take about 10 months to get to Mars, and then when it gets to Mars, it'll slow down and do a Mars insertion burn, and of course, be in orbit around Mars. Its normal mission is one Earth year, and we expect it to have enough fuel to last quite a bit longer, but that's its minimum science mission, is to obtain atmospheric, sample instrument, atmospheric samples at different upper atmospheric reaches above Mars. And then, of course, after its primary mission, it will stay in orbit around Mars to help relay signals from the Mars surface rovers back to Earth through its high-gain antenna. The Mars MAVEN, the MAVEN spacecraft is very much like the Mars Reconnaissance Orbit, or MRO, which is currently in orbit around Mars, in that it was built with a lot of the same technology and the same spacecraft bus structure, which makes it very um, reliable and we expect it to have a great mission.
Sports Director for NASA Launch Services Program. What we're seeing in the foreground here is the offloading of the uh, Atlas V booster and the uh, Centaur stage for the upcoming uh, MAVEN launch, uh, set to launch to Mars uh, November 18th. And what you're seeing here is the, the product coming from the factory indicator in the uh, FOSS Mariner, which is uh, the uh, transport barge uh, initially used by the uh, Delta IV program to bring their core segments out here. When ULA combined, uh, they were able to take advantage of using the uh, the uh, FOSS Mariner to be able to transport their Atlas vehicles and uh, cut down some costs. They were using a, an airplane before the Antonov and uh, airplanes are always a little bit more expensive than shipping over the water and uh, this is a vehicle that's capable of not only bringing the Atlas and the Centaur but several other stages if you wanted to. You can see it's a cavernous hangar um, uh, space. So. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a first time operation for me. I, uh, first time that uh, we used it for an Atlas V was on the MSL mission, uh, Mar uh, the uh, Curiosity uh, mission. And unfortunately, I was out of town and wasn't able to see it. So uh, I'm seeing it for the first time here and I'm uh, thrilled to see it. It's, uh, it's, I'm amazed by the size. It doesn't look, the barge doesn't look very big from the outside. Um, I know how big that launch vehicle is and it, it looks like you could fit another three or four of them in there with no problem. Hi, my name is Vernon Thorpe. I'm with United Launch Alliance. I'm ULA's program manager for NASA and commercial missions. And we're standing here aboard the Mariner. This is the ship that we use to bring our launch vehicles from our factory in Decatur, Alabama, to the Cape and also out to Vandenberg. And this morning, we just offloaded the Atlas booster that we'll be, use, that we'll be using to launch the MAVEN spacecraft for NASA on November 18th. And uh, I just got a tour of the ship with some of our local media and some of our NASA customers. This is the first time I've been on the Mariner, and it was a really neat tour. Uh, it just amazes me all the different uh, modes of transportation that come together to enable a mission like this. You know, we ship our launch vehicles using trucks, using ships, sometimes using aircraft, and everything comes together down here at the Cape where we put the rocket together, uh, made it up with the spacecraft, and get ready for a launch. And as I said, our next launch for NASA is going to be the MAVEN mission on November 18th. And uh, we're all very excited about that. We're looking forward to it. I love working the NASA missions, and we hope to see you down here then.